What's up guys? Welcome to another video by Into Fly Fishing. In this video, we're going to review this right here. This is the Vision River Maniac 9 foot 5 weight fly rod. Let's get into it. So before we get started with this review, I have to say that Vision did send me this rod for review and testing. And also I should say that I've got it spooled up with the Sage Spectrum C number 56 reel. And on that, I've got some scientific anglers weight forward floating line in the five weight. And I've been fishing this thing for months now. I love this rod. I really love the way it casts. So in this review, I'm going to talk all about the casting of the rod, the accuracy, the blank recovery rate. But first, let's cover the components. So starting at the butt of the rod, we have this black anodized uplocking reel seat and it has a double ring, which I always like, make sure the reel stays in there nice and snug. And it has this gorgeous burled wood insert that really adds to the style and flair of this thing when you're looking at it. And I really love the handle of the rod as well. It fits a good size hand. My hands are pretty average, I'd say, for a guy that's six feet tall. And this rod handle is really comfortable, really ergonomic. It has a decent cork handle. There are some fillers and a little bit of bits of cork missing. I would like to see a little bit more quality of the cork handle in a rod of this price. Moving up here to the blank, this is what sets this rod apart. I love this blank. I love the way it has power all the way down to the handle. And at the same time, you know, you can, it's a little bit medium to fast action. So you don't have to worry about your timing stroke being bang on perfect, which sometimes mine's not. It also has a really cool feature where you can measure fish from the butt of the rod and it has these little stripes on the actual blank itself up to 50 centimeters, then 60 centimeters. So you can see if you've got fish, how big they are, uh, how long they are anyways. And if you got anything bigger than 60 centimeters, well, good for you, but it doesn't have any lines on this rod to measure them. Going up, so there's one stripper guide on the second section of the rod at the very start of the second section. Then there are nine single snake guides and the tip ring. This River Maniac by Vision has this really flashy copper kind of bronze finish on it. I love the finish of it. Most of my rods are pretty bland and they have a matte finish in a dark or a classic brown. This one is really flashy. I don't really believe that you can scare fish off by having flash on your rod, but if you do worry about that, you might consider a different rod by Vision. But yeah, overall the style and look of the rod and the components used are really high quality. These blanks are just excellent and I really love the way it casts. So let's get into that now, the casting of the Vision River Maniac. All right, so about casting this rod, um, I really love the way it casts. I've got a dry dropper on here right now with like a size 16 beaded nymph and a really small, maybe size 14 uh, dry fly. And it's just like an ant pattern. And it turns this over no problem at all. Let me get some line out here. Um, but what I love about this rod is that it just, the blank recovery is perfect. Like you don't really have any wobble in the rod on the forward stroke and you don't need any power at all just to get it really firing out. And it just lays down really nicely. You can get some tight loops with it. And yeah, it's a great casting rod and you really do not need to have your timing perfect. Like I said, uh, that cast there was decent, but I've got some trees here behind me. So let's see if we can get further out. Yeah, like it just feels fantastic and every time it casts it feels like it almost corrects for you and gets the flies to just lie down nice at the end of the cast and yeah, it's just beautiful casting rod. I really, really do love it. And as for fighting fish, I've caught a few fish today already. Uh, we had one really nice brown today in this river. This is just my local river, not far from my house here in Bulgaria and fighting the fish is great. You know, that was a decent sized fish. Of course, this is a five weight, so you could catch much bigger fish than that guy on this thing. Um, but he's basically just sat there with his head down and I had enough backbone in this rod to control him, um, even though he was kind of being stubborn. So when you're fighting fish, you definitely have enough backbone with this rod and you definitely have the feel for all the takes too, which I love about it because it has this really sensitive tip. And so if you've got a light take, then you'll feel it all the way down through to the rod handle and it makes it really easy to feel those takes, set the hook, and get the fish in. Oh, that's a fish. That's a fish. <laughs> there you go, it's <this> is off. <laughs> All right, so there's proof that you can catch fish on the Vision River Maniac, even if they're that big. But the one earlier was much nicer than that guy. So another thing I want to talk about is the casting accuracy. 
Uh, on this river here, most of the fish are just hugging the bank, like really close to the bank. So I've had to cast extremely close to the bank for every one of the fish that I actually caught. And so the accuracy is super important. And I find that the rod has excellent accuracy, even up to like 50 feet. But I can basically pinpoint the bank, get right along it where those rocks are. And then it's going to be in the perfect position every single time. I mean, I miss a few. I'm, I'm human. But... It really does have great accuracy and it allows me to just punch the line out with one quick backstroke. And the, right there, I'm just right along the bank, maybe six inches at first from the bank, which is exactly where I wanna be. So definitely has the accuracy that you'd want. And now I've got some drag. Um, yeah, but that's the great part about this rod is just how accurate you can be with it. I've got trees behind me, so I gotta be careful. And then right there again, boom, really close to the bank. All right, so now I wanna talk a little bit about line control on this rod because it's one of the things that I really do enjoy about it. Just a little flick of the wrist like that and you can really mend the line easily and get the line to where it wants to be. Um, the tip of the rod is firm enough that like a little tiny flick is gonna move the line quite a bit. So at first I was finding that I was overpowering the mend quite often, but as you fish with it more and more, um, you start to get used to that and you can really mend that line exactly how you want it to be like that and then you've got the line where it should be get a natural drift all right so the price of the vision river maniac nine foot five weight fly rod is around 450 euros and i will leave some links down below in the description of this video for you guys to check it out if you want those aren't affiliate links. I don't think Vision has an affiliate and they're typically sold in Europe. So you might have to ship it to the States if you're watching this from the US. I'm not sure how that works with customs, but you can ask the guys at Vision. And I think that overall, that's a great price for this quality of rod, especially with this beautiful blank. So lastly, I just want to talk about my final thoughts and opinions on the Vision River Maniac 9 foot 5 weight fly rod. I think that overall, this is the perfect rod if you're going to be on small to mid-sized rivers, catching small to medium-sized trout. I caught a really nice one on it today and it had no problem with it. I love the accuracy, so if you're in tight spaces and you need to do a roll cast or you just need to plunk it down close to the bank, like I said, it's great for that. The accuracy is excellent. And as you can see from the casting videos, this thing has basically the perfect blank recovery rate. So as soon as you straighten it out, there's no wobble. If I had any cons about it overall, it's just that I wish I had a hook keeper. That's a personal preference, somewhere to hook the hook when you're traveling with the rod. I tend to walk up and down a lot with my rod kept together. That would be nice to see. I wish that the cork was a little bit higher quality, but other than that, this is just a great rod. And coming in at $450, I think that it's also priced really well. And it's one of the better rods that we've reviewed here on the channel. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and let us know what you think about Vision products if you've ever had one before. And also stay tuned because we'll be coming out with new fly fishing gear reviews and tutorials soon. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, tight lines.